Hi, this is Spencer Ingley with the Anyfish Development Team. Today I'm going to show you how to transform your images to use as texture files in your Anyfish animation. Uh, this process takes place using TPS Transformer, which is a standalone software developed by the Anyfish team. So this program is available for download on the Anyfish wiki. So here's the wiki, and all you need to do to access the program is come down to Anyfish User Manual. Uh, click on required software download and under adjusting image shape you'll find TPS transformer and this comes with everything that you need to install and run this this file and this runs as a MATLAB uh, executable file so if you, you need to either uh, install these run MATLAB runtimes or have uh, MATLAB installed on your computer but everything avail is available uh, in this download package for you to do that so when you download TPS Transformer, if you look in this window here on the right, uh, it, it basically comes with this folder which says TPS Transformer and the date of this build. So if you click there, this has the MATLAB installer, uh, and under the warp folder, you'll actually find the executable. So this is the executable right here, warp.exe. I've already opened my executable here, so I'll show you uh, what comes next. So when you open the TPS Transformer executable file, you're presented with four different options. Uh, the fourth one, other, I'm not going to talk about at this time because there's not really use for it currently. Uh, but the first three options are relevant. So piece of lead, uh, with a sword, piece of lead without a sword, and a stick and stickleback. So basically, if you're working with a piece of lead with a sword, without a sword, or a stickleback, you select the option here that corresponds to that type of fish. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select piece of lead without a sword because I'm going to run through an example with a species of Brachyrhaphis uh, that I work with. So go ahead and click OK. And from there you'll be prompted to select the TPS file that corresponds to your image. Uh, so this is just a regular TPS file that you've landmarked uh, for the image that you wish to use as your AnyFish texture, as your animation texture. So this texture basically gets wrapped around the 3D skeleton of the fish and and will will form the skin, sort of the digital skin of your animation. So this has this TPS file has been generated using the, the steps that I outlined in the previous videos, uh, using TPS util, TPS uh, dig, and TPS relw. Well in this case just TPS dig. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that TPS file. And then it asks me to select the image that I want to warp. So in this case, this is my image, img underscore 0977.jpg. And this corresponds to the TPS file that I just opened previously. So I'm going to double click there. And then TPS Transformer will actually start to run. And what TPS Transformer does is it takes the TPS file that you provide, the image that you provide, and it transforms the shape of that image so it matches a template. So there are three templates, the piece of lead without sword, piece of lead with sword, and the stickleback. So, so this, is just, this is just a necessary process in the animation uh, where, where we have to transform the texture to match this default template that we provide. Uh, and then once you provide your TPS shape files in the AnyFish editor, your image will be re-transformed, uh, re-warped back to to, to the original image or whatever image you assign based on your TPS file. Go ahead and wait for this to run. The output here is uh, two two images, uh, one of which you will copy to your textures folder. So this image right here uh, on the top is the transformed image. As you can see, it looks a little strange uh, because my Brachyrhaphis terebensis is slightly different shape than the default uh, piece of lead without sword. But that's not a big deal because it's going to be reshaped later on. And most of the warping that happens, as you can see, is in the fin area. And we actually apply separate textures for the fins. Uh, so that doesn't end up being, a, being an issue. So this image output right here is what you're actually going to copy into your projects folder. Uh, it's standardized in terms of the size. Uh, so that it will work with the AnyFish editor. So you can go ahead and close all of these because uh, TPS Transformer saves them automatically in your uh, 
in the in the host folder in the original folder. Let me go ahead and navigate to that folder. I can remember where it is. And here is that warped image. So this is the image that was outputted, and this is the image that I will copy now to the TPS textures, or, or sorry, to the AnyFish textures folder. Let me go ahead and do that. Copy. Navigate to my projects folder. And in this case, it's Terabensis. Click on textures. And the image is actually already in there from me doing this previously. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. will ask me if I'll replace. I'll go ahead and copy and replace because it's the exact same image. So now when you open up the AnyFish editor, that image will be available uh, as a texture file and you can click on that box. Uh, you can provide multiple textures here if you want to have uh, different variations or if you're making multiple models for a given project and whatever's available, whatever you provide in this folder will be available for you to select once you open up AnyFish. So that is how you use TPS Transformer to transform your images and prepare them for use as textures in the any